So we are back home, we are settled, and we are shooting. You tuned up. <laughs> Hello darling, welcome back to my YouTube channel where everything is absolutely... It's rainbow darling. Thank you so much for coming back once again. It's so nice to always have your support. If you're brand new, please don't forget to subscribe down below, down below, down below and click that bell button so that you can get your instant notifications whenever I do upload. Since, like I said at the beginning, I'm back home and oh my God, just reflecting back on everything. I'm coming from Joburg to Cape Town and it's been two years and just reflecting on everything that what I intended to do when I got to Joburg, when I was going to Joburg, if it's anything, the most important thing, because I imagine myself traveling um, and just getting in touch with the world in many ways, I wanted to know how to do that comfortably um, and also to test myself within the country. It's one thing to travel with family, we've done that a million times and it's gorgeous, but it's also one thing to go out there and discover the world the way you know how. How would you know if you've never done it? So on this video, I'm doing five um, things that I've learned from moving, not necessarily from Cape Town to Joburg as we say, but from one city to another and just perspective. The very first thing that I learned from moving from one city to another, which is very important and I'm like, thank you Lord, networking. Networking is crucial and just the skill, how to do it and how to maintain it and how to grow and not just be comfortable on how you usually connect with people, especially for me, but for anyone in terms of, sorry, what I meant is as an artist, as a novice artist also, that is discovering, trying to get something out there, you have to be in touch. You have to get out there, introduce yourself. Networking does not come on your lap. It's anything I also learned. You have to get out there whilst you're working on yourself, discovering yourself in any possible way and all the ways. You want to also be confident in what you are right now, what you have, your abilities. You get out there, you sell them. Everyone is a market until they not you know so that's one thing that i would definitely share with you if you are looking into getting out there getting in touch with the world after what we're going through now then think about it even now are you a person that's very good at networking yes or no and if yes how can you improve it and if no what are the things do you think you need so that you're able to be very good at it or to be able to be comfortable with the process you know meeting people also being very confident with what you bring to the table and looking at how you can collaborate with everyone that you'd meet because it's not about you just introducing yourself. Hi, I am Satens, darling. No, um, also like you being able to discover what they do on the, their side and then you can see how can we create some magic. So darling, get out there and network, okay? <laughs> Talking about networking actually, the next one that I that just came with time as I was obviously in Joburg. And I've, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this, but creating family of your own and in your terms is very important. And understanding the morale that you are about so that you can connect connect with people that are, that are in the same role of thinking, ideas, dreams, Go getting and not just that, sorry, everything that you're about, what, what makes you the essence of a Sitem's darling, you want to be able to create and expand from that beyond your biological family. You know, when they say um, blood is thicker than water, oh my gosh, I actually went to, I was on TikTok a long time ago, I saw this on TikTok a long time ago, but it explained fully a lot of people think that blood blood itself is family and water is everyone else when it's the other way around because blood is within your body water is where you were birthed from that's where you were at so that obviously connects you with your mother and your mother is an extension of your family right and blood 
that's within her system it's out of your um it's out of your body kind of vibe anyway so as blood that connects to the entire body with different things as it moves the essence of it comes from everything indulged within and what makes you you physically and that's beyond the water that you came from and that's exactly metaphorically you as an individual as you get out then as you dabble with this one and that one there and that you start creating a circle even if it's subconscious um you start creating a circle that defines who you are um not necessarily defines but that comes along with you and the stronger that circle is the better it is for you i cannot tell you how many times people that i've never ever seen i've never heard of them when i got to jerwick and we vibed today i can't imagine my life with so many people in jerwick because Oh my gosh, it's been such a beautiful, beautiful ride. That has been interesting, hasn't been easy, but in networking and in creating that family, it makes it a little bit easier for you to grow and for you to conquer your goals, um your aspirations and the reasons in which you were there from the beginning while while leaving home, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a city to city thing. For me again, I come from Joburg right now and I'm in Cape Town. The third thing that I really felt like obviously this I experience now coming back, reverse culture is a thing. It's actually a thing. Reverse culture shock, that's what I meant. I am from Cape Town. I was born, raised and everything. I say that all the time proudly. But when I came back, it was like I've been excited to come back. I've been excited to come back home. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But it's just been like Are you sure? Anyway, it takes time obviously a little bit depending on who you are. I think also I was so engulfed in my so-called new life. Um and it was and it it's not even my new life it's just things and how it developed and me being so away from cape town but also continuing to connect with my beautiful families and friends in cape town which are very important to me um but oxala you're just coming here it's just been like i don't know the way i feel about even going there or speaking to who like whatever anyway I, it's been 3 weeks so i am breathing into it um but but i won't lie for me i've experienced that and i don't want to take it for granted when i do leave um cape town again um to really connect with my people at home as much as possible to keep the connectivity and the essence and really the fabrication of who you are so that when you do come back because even like now oh, i'm so motivated i'm inspired i'm in I'm like i just got in touch with the little little me so i can't ever take that away and also i can never go back to change the location of where the little me came from and wherever it is which happens to be here i consistently have to nurture um that because for me as an individual i don't know for you but in terms of what i'm learning it's very important for me to um stay in touch with the with the with the little sitems little sitems still speaks to me a lot and if it's anyone little sitems was way more inspired much more of a hard worker a person that really brought things to life in comparison to this one and i'm i'm trying to connect them think that they just need <laughs> to damn a work together okay hi bro The fourth thing, the fourth thing that I learned, I've one more of this. The fourth thing that I learned, I know it's typical. It's what is it? What do they call it in English? It's cliche. Oh my gosh, anything is possible. I don't know how you feel about that statement and how it got into you, but I've always limited myself in what people say I can do, what I'm good at, or what amazes them, what they love about me for me as for defining myself as that person. And I was like these are my abilities. This is who I am. You know, but getting to another city, you everything and everyone that pumps me with the idea of who I think I am disappears and it's up to me in how I would like to define myself in my presence and as i realize how much of a blank slate it becomes when no one knows you which is lovely you get to just 
elevate things on a different scale um, and if you want to create that person because of what you see right now then it's up to you but for me it's also an experience thing where I don't get to be the same person all the time I am consistently myself in terms of character personality and all of that but in terms of what I get to do and how I even do things even going to certain like just even as small as clubbing the types of clubs that you get to go to in my head I was always like these are the only I always constrain myself in a weird way in my head but just being in another city just seeing my capabilities and the way I connect with people and the way I do things and also you make a decision about something that you want to do you sit down you write it down you research you create something out of nothing there's been many instance instances for me personally where I've been tested where I'm stuck. I don't have a solution. Being alone in another city um, can be very problematic and I n literally had to, I think also my pride, sorry, if it's anything, it's my pride. With my pride, it's hard to ask for help sometimes within the people that I love and I believe will definitely help me and they've put themselves out there, but I am such a Capricorn. I will tell myself I have to do it. I need to find a solution. So that's the whole thing. And just, yeah, I've done so many things that I never thought I'll be able to do in the time that I've been there. And that for me is a testimony of anything is bloody possible. Anyway, this camera is already like battery low. What, what's your problem, dude? Ew. So I'm going to wrap it up beautifully for you. The last thing, the last, last, last thing that I learned, there's a lot more lessons, obviously. And and a, I could even go into more details. If it's anything, I'll suggest to you. If you if you have any questions, I would love for you to actually please share it on the comment box below regarding like moving from one city to another and how you could settle down and how you start your about you know when you have absolutely no one, nothing, and eventually it's home you know I can definitely help with that and I would definitely love to share um, my journey properly without like just giving you five points but it's up to you and your interest what you'd like to hear from me but the last thing change is part of life it's important to adapt it's important to, to also be present but also engage with the foreseeable future so that you literally are writing your own story. You're not letting the story write yourself and it's not people writing your story. The story can write you where you are keeping the flow just going and that's nice, that's very nice, but going with the flow doesn't mean also you're oblivious to what kind of flow you would love. Remember, with our own personal preferences means that we get to be in control and with change, I've never. It's like for me also, <laughs> it feels so annoying a little bit, but also I'm grateful where I'm moved just when all of this is happening. Because I did spend at least um, a year without a pandemic and then... Dude, I'm hustling. What is your problem? Why are you featuring on Earth? Why are you featuring on my story? Okay. I actually have a weird shame. I've always wished to be part of something intense that is historical, but in my head it was World War Three. Hi, the Lord said World War, freaking COVID, ah, nineteen, and which is also something that I didn't expect for it to come that like that. So the challenges in, in the ways I imagine myself ducking and diving, trying to save myself from guns, from fires, from a country that's dilapidating. Ah, now it's a disease. I can't even see this thing. I just see people falling in crowds. It's crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for giving me your time. I do appreciate it. I love you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. Click that bell button so that you can get your instant notifications whenever I do upload. I will see you very soon. My sister is very excited to be part of the channel and I'm so excited to introduce her to you beautiful, gorgeous people. So stay tuned to the next video. It's a sister edition, okay? Love you, darling. <laughs> Oh god, I'm so happy I'm finished. And that's on commitment, and that's on pushing yourself, and that's on doing what you said you would do.